Secretary of State Anthony Blinken wrapped up his two-day visit to Pittsburgh this afternoon. In an interview seen only on KDK, he sat down with political editor John Delano. John. Hey, Ken and Kim. We're at the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers here on the south side, where just a few hours ago, Secretary Blinken told labor officials that a key part of President Biden's foreign policy is American jobs. When it also comes to having a, a, a strong and growing stronger uh, labor movement that is so essential uh, to, uh, to the future uh, of our country and our economy, it's all, it's all here in Pittsburgh. When I met with him, Secretary Blinken said Pittsburgh can teach others how to make the right transition from the old to the new economy. That's what's happening every day uh, in this city, and I think for both uh, us and the government and also for our European partners, uh, there's a lot to be learned. Blinken says America's dependence on made in China has hurt the supply chain here at home. One of the things we've learned, uh, including from the COVID-19 crisis, is we have to build uh, more diversified and more resilient supply chains, including uh, bringing some of that manufacturing uh, and supply uh, back here to the United States, especially when it comes to critical products or critical technologies where we can't afford uh, to be dependent uh, on anyone else. In addition to China, I asked the secretary about Russian-based ransomware. What are you doing to protect Americans from ransom. We need to make sure that uh, there are better, better defenses in place, that uh, people are aware of the problem, that they're putting in place uh, the necessary protections to, uh, to guard against it. We also have to go on the offensive and disrupt and dismantle these cr mostly criminal organizations. The secretary has been criticized for his handling of the departure from Afghanistan. So I asked him about reports that he delayed the evacuation of civilians. Is that true? And what do you make of all this? I guess I'd say, John, look, this was, first of all, uh, the president's decision to end the longest war uh, in our history uh, was the right decision. For anyone to say that uh, uh, any of these decisions were made by any one uh, agency, that's, that's not how we work. We do, these, we, we do all of this together. Uh, the president brings everyone together. Uh, everyone is heard. Uh, everyone is listened to when we make these decisions collectively. That's what happened in Afghanistan. In what looks like an increasing blame game between the Pentagon and the State Department, Blinken refused to criticize General Milley, the chair of the Joint Chiefs. But that's not likely to end this debate. As for Pittsburgh, he sees this area really as leading the way internationally on job transformation. Live on the South Side, I'm John Delano, KDKA News.